Welcome to Sorry If I Speak When I Welcome. Speak. Yeah. We are continuing. Huge. Huge. Show. That is what this Huge. is. Huge. Yeah. And we have a yeah. really, really Big great show. guest today. We have a guy. Star. A, a star. A, a future star in the NFL. Very personable, lovable guy. Very educated, a smart. And this guy is going to bring so much playmaking ability to the Bengals. That thing that we've been craving from our linebackers for the past, I don't know how many years. And so here he is, Marcus Bailey. Marcus. Hey. Hey. Hi yeah. guys. Yeah. Hi guys. Excitement. How are doing? Yeah. We're excited. How are you? I'm great, man. I'm excited. You know, I'm just yeah. I'm just honored to be on the show. You guys are two of the most, you know, renowned people in in, in sports media right now. And Dr. Haji Samaji is one yeah. of the best best doctors in the country. So I'm just honored you, to be on the show. You just made it to the top of my website, young man. That quote <laughs> is going to be yeah. That quote's going to be on my business card. It's going to be everywhere. You don't I'm know a fan what you just you. did, Marcus. Yeah. You did not. I would yeah. have you on the show for a long time. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> yep, yeah, Marcus. So, I, I so then. Yeah, I go have ahead. been waiting for this interview. I have been waiting for this interview my entire life, literally. I see. I, I think you might be exaggerating this no, a little bit. No, listen, listen. So th when I was a child back on Village Island, uh, there was a fair. And at the fair, you could do things like get e extra hair removed and things like that. That was a hairy child. And there was a soothsayer. For three apples, he would tell your future. Now listen to this, Marcus <laughs> Taylor, because okay, you won't I'm believe it. You're not going to believe this. So the soothsayer said something that I did not understand until this very day when you came on our show. He said, you will meet a man. You will meet a man who will push back the tides of aggression. He will come like the tick-tock of the clock, <laughs> wearing, wearing 101 rings of triumph by the time you are 20. Now, I'm well past 20. And 101 rings, no one wears 101 rings. But then I realized, it. okay, you will meet a man who will push back the tides of aggression. That's you because you're a Pisces and you're on defense. Oh, my God. He comes with the, <laughs> comes with the TikTok of the clock. It's your TikTok media presence that we all love, those funny videos that you do. Wearing 101 rings of triumph by the time you are 20, 20 times 101 is 2020. The year 2020 is when you're going to wear your ring. <laughs> I mean, it makes logical sense. Everything you it said, like, it's logical sense right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, everything just came together. It was, it was like a, like one of those movies, you know, where at the, with the, the spread ending was brilliant. Yeah. Marcus, you can, you can just kind of throw all that out and we can get to the real interview now. So you are known, <laughs> you are known for being a very a smart uh, player. Now, explain to us what that means. You know, what, what it means to be a smart and also what it means to be a smart player. Because, you know, if you look at the NFL, the history of the NFL, right, a lot of guys have been highly functional uh, despite limitations, let's say. You know, I think about Ben Roethlisberger or Terry Bradshaw, you know, Jeff Reed or all these other Pittsburgh Steelers have had very limited intelligence but have found a lot of success. So how, you know, what does that mean when you have that athleticism plus that IQ on the field? How do you use that? How does that give you a, an advantage? Yeah. Um, well, I think, you know, you can be as fast, as strong, as quick um, as anybody, but if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know where you're going, it doesn't matter because uh, on the game, you have to make, in the game, you have to make the play. Uh, so for me, when I think of being like a smart player and having a high football IQ, it really comes down to, pattern recognition um, and that's from preparation uh, film study and yeah. um, you know just experience that's how you you know develop those instincts yeah. and um, once you see a certain formation or play that you've seen over and over or you see similarities that you've seen in the past then you that's what helps you anticipate and make those big time plays so when I think of football IQ and being a smart player uh, I think it's really pattern recognition and uh, I think some of the smartest people, and some of the most intuitive people are the best at recognizing patterns in their life. So I yeah. agree with that. Yeah. You, 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 you started for 26 games uh, uh, at Purdue, uh, uh, 
uh, academic Wait. all big 10 no you said 26 20 you played in you played in 45 career games at purdue starting 26 of them no i started 40. yeah oh i'm sorry our, our research team <laughs> someone just got fired someone hey, just somebody got fired. Yeah, somebody's gotta go somebody's just gotta got go fired. So nah, and you were at Purdue and you had that you you bring in that star power. You're uh, you're you're strong at tackling. What's the statement that the Bengals are making by with their commitment to you? What are they trying to say with a Marcus Bay? What's the message that we're getting? What's the new direction? Because I get the vibe well, that there's a new direction. Yeah, I mean I think when you look at the three linebackers that we drafted. Uh, with Logan, Akeem Davis, Gaither, and myself. I think um, when you break the film down on all of us, we're all guys who are very productive in college. Uh, yeah. We can all play multiple positions, uh, show right. we flash athleticism on film, have ball skills, uh, three down backers. Um, so I think- Comfortable in man or zone. Yeah, I think the Bengals uh, on defense, we're looking for the value um, and, you know, we have three guys that are going to bring, hopefully, you know, bring, tremendous value to to the defense uh, because of the skill sets that we possess. So that's what I get the feeling of that we're, we're going for a quicker, tacklier yeah. uh, defense. On the yeah, you know, yeah, I just uh, listened to a podcast with coach Matt Manich, you know, and he had Arif Hassan on and they were talking about how Trey Waynes is like the top tackler in the NFL for a cornerback, you know, and uh, they added all these guys to tackle because I don't know. I'm sure you know, but the Bengals in the recent years have struggled against tight ends, and yeah. very recently they lots have of missed tackles. Yeah, lots of and, and covering tackles. tight ends too. And you are excellent in coverage. You are exceptional. And so are the other linebackers we drafted. It's amazing. We're so looking forward to that. And you know, so we're trying to with the tackling though. It's a lot of guys that we added, and DJ Reader to free up other guys on the line and elsewhere. We're really putting emphasis on stopping the run. And part of that is because, you know, the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, and Lamar Jackson, who you talked about on the Cincy Jungle podcast, you said how he put a move on you in college. And uh, yeah, now, tell us about that. Tell and now you want moment. to destroy him, basically. Yeah, yeah I want to hear please. that. I want to yeah. hear more about this, this, this destruction that's in many. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, so game one, 2017, Purdue versus Louisville, Lucas Oil Stadium. Uh, Lamar Jackson came off of, uh, I think he won the Heisman the year before. And, uh, you, you know, I was going to, he was going to be one of the best players I probably ever played against. And yeah. overall, I mean, you know, it was a really good game. I think I played decent. I was out in space a lot, but there was just one specific play where I was blitzing off the edge and, um, you know, I was trying to bend around the tackle and Lamar Jackson being Lamar Jackson was able to retreat probably 10 to 15 yards to escape outside the pocket and uh, missed him by just like a centimeter on his, on his, on his, uh, on his shoestring. So uh, we definitely got me yeah. and myself and a few other of my teammates uh, quite a, quite a few times, but um, you know, I've grown as a player and you know, of course Lamar Jackson is a, is a, is a great talent, generational talent, great player. So yeah. I'm excited for the challenge um, of playing against high caliber players like himself and other people in the AFC. Uh, and you'll you be yeah. facing him a lot. You will be facing him a lot. You're going to see but, him I mean, a lot. And, yeah. And you're going to yeah, get this, him the next time. Yeah. That basically, yeah. Exactly. All, yeah. He, he, and he, I mean, it's just a run, rushing attack in general. The rushing attack is very effective because of him and, and what he can do in the passing game. So I think, I think the Bengals made moves with the Ravens in mind because, you know, we didn't have AJ Green that much the past couple of years. And A.J. Green kind of carried us against the Ravens since he came yeah. into the league. You know, we relied on his late game uh, plays and we didn't have that. And so the Ravens recently have been kind of, you know, they've had games go in their favor. And I think that's going to change dramatically next year with guys like you and A.J. Green back and all that. Now, Marcus, we have uh, people submitting questions. And I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but, you know, they're asking about uh, your knee and, uh, you know, RJDE from Reddit asked and Dave Lennox in the chat asked. And, uh, you know, if, if it wasn't obviously, if it wasn't for the injuries, you would have been a top uh, first or second round pick with your ability and your smartness and all that. Now you have this opportunity and you obviously we see the confidence coming through in, in your, your videos and in your, uh, the way you carry yourself and all that. 
Um, yeah. So people, so people want to know. Obviously, the knee is fully healed and you're you're ready to go. But just you know, what do you you know where where are you with that? And let's say uh, you know, is the knee? Because a lot of times people they have the ACL. Let's talk knee. Let's yeah. talk knee. A lot of times people come back is stronger than before. You know, right. like Adrian Peterson. You remember his uh, record breaking year? He tore his ACL the year before. And then you have guys like John Elway early in his career, once in college, he tore his ACL, and then. Again, early in the NFL, and, and back then, they didn't even have ACL treatment. They just shaved his leg and wrapped it in saran wrap and let it sweat, you know? <laughs> you no, 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 really? no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 they, they did. Horses. That's what they do to horses. That's not what they oh. do to humans, yeah. That, okay, okay. But, but no, yeah. but then you have uh, Frank Gore. He had two ACL tears in college, and never again. I mean, this guy, he's in his 38th year, and pretty soon they say his grandkids are going to join him on the Jets. You know, so you have no. all this, you know, the, the thing, my point is this, is that yeah. ACL tears are not what they used to be, you know, and the treatment now, people not only make full recoveries, but a lot of times they end up being stronger than before. So I just yeah. want to hear what your take. It's yeah. a bionic, it's a bionic knee. Yeah. If, if <laughs> yeah, bionic knee. No. Um, yeah, my my rehab has, has gone really well. Uh, that's at me. And first off, it's a testament to my surgeon. Uh, Dr. Dr. Cooper um, down in down in Dallas, and uh, where I did my rehab at was in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, with, with Brett Fisher. He's the physical therapist of the Cardinals over there. Uh, so they they put a great program and plan in place for me, and um, you know I, of course I had to put the work in and follow it diligently. Um, but because of that, I was able to get be, get ahead of the game and um, you know be ahead of the schedule in my rehab. And ever since, you know, the, my pro day, my pro day was supposed to be like April 4th. So ever since that, I did that virtual pro day deal, I've been pretty much doing full speed reactive reps. Like I was, I was getting my mind right for participating in the off season program. Of course, um, you know, that was barring the pandemic and everything that happened with that. But I mean, I, I would have been ready then to compete. So I'm, I'm definitely ready to compete now. And I've had a great, um, a great summer. All right, my I've been training at this facility here in Columbus, Ohio, called the Spot Athletics, and they, they do a great job making a program that's tailored to you. Uh, we have a good group in there, and I've been getting getting a lot stronger, getting a lot faster, uh, getting a lot more explosive, um, and I feel great going heading into camp. You know, I just there's just a lot of uncertainty up in the air right now. Who who knows what's going to happen? With you know, we haven't even gotten definite answers on schedules or anything no. like that but the only thing i can control yeah. is what i can control and uh yeah. i'm just gonna keep preparing and just uh when, whenever it's time to compete just go out there and, and uh, do what i do you know but yeah, Marcus, but he, let's, let's not yeah. talk so much about the facts let's talk about your feelings yeah. how do you feel how <laughs> that's do you always feel? a good idea yeah. yeah how do you feel do you feel yeah. ready do you feel pumped do you feel ready to go tell, tell us about your feelings I feel great, man. My feelings, I, I'm, I'm ready to compete. Uh, I'm excited. I mean, I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity. Um, and, you know, it's, I'm going into my rookie season. I know I have a lot to learn. Uh, but I'm confident that I have the skill set and the mindset to be successful. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm, I know I'm going to put the work in. So I'm excited. I'm confident. Uh, you know, anxious, but a good anxious. You know what I mean? So yeah, uh, there's just I mean, a lot of uncertainty yeah. going on. So. I'm exactly. Telling you, I'm telling and I, you, the soothsayer yeah. from Village Island predicted your victory. Right. So you you good I, to go. He's never wrong. I mean, I okay. I good. respect your resilience, Marcus, dealing with this whole situation. You know, it's very difficult for all of us. Just imagining the revenue loss that the NFL could suffer because of this the situation no, that we're no, seeing. No, no, this uh, is, is a really live not loss. Clear this is not what is economic going. loss. Okay. This is more than this is not just about the economy. Okay? Right. This is about human lives. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Human lives add to the economy. That yeah. that's that's absolutely true. Good point. You know, Marcus actually uh, has a, a master's in tech leadership, so he knows all oh. about management. Yeah. Look at you, the little yeah. research. Of right. right. No, but Marcus. I mean, you have so Marcus. You have a Super real nice. graduate degree, right? Uh, unlike this guy here, this this guy over there. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the point. I think it's point. I think it's point at you, doctor. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah. right. I mean, Marcus, we don't even know if it's a PhD or an MD, or we don't even know what he is. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Hey, that's, that's beyond me. I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but, but Marcus, you know, basically, he's going to come back pretty soon. But uh, I just want to know about your, your regimen, how you take care of your body. Because, you know, Hoji, he, he, he emphasizes going vegan, you know, that kind of a stuff. You know, for I, instance, was thinking about, I was thinking about not coming back yeah. when I was so insulted. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> you know, I don't. Oh, he's insulted. Uh, I, oh, he's insulted. Hold on, Michael, let me tell you. So so the other day, you yeah. know, uh, I, I was a little, um, how do you call it? It stopped up, you know, a little it stuffed up, you know, in the, in the stomach. It went, things weren't rolling as usual because because actually I was on the kettle corn because of the whole situation. And I ordered about uh, five or six calzones, but it, they just didn't go through the system. And so this guy tells me to eat charcoal. He says, have some charcoal. No. Well, from, from, from activated coconut. charcoal yeah. from, a, from a coconut, it's a very right. common treatment for treating constipation, Marcus. Yeah. Well, I was just telling you, him, I was, I I was shooting him. out lava, basically. It was, oh. it was, a, so it was a big mess. that's the whole story. That's his side of Lovely the story. Image. So the Hojiland State Toilets do an automatic assessment of anybody who uses them, okay? If you come to my Hojiland, I'm going to take care of you. They, <laughs> they measure all the things that are going on with your... Yeah. Flora and fauna. Oh, my point is, my point is, there's a lot of and, uh, and, 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 and yeah. he, yeah. Daddy, had a dribbling problem. He was dribbling right. a little bit. We gave him some saw palmetto and yeah. some pumpkin seed oil, and his his stream is just great now. He's he's peeing like a 19 year old, oh, and he's pooping. God. And yeah, he had to get rid of some toxins. I detoxified him using the activated charcoal. Is that a sin, Marcus? I think listen, if you're if you're concerned about your overall health and longevity, just stay clear from this guy. Please. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna go. Visit I am not Dr. a medical Hoji's doctor, office. but I am. I am not a medical doctor. I have a honorary PhD, Marcus, from uh, in liberal studies from Santa Monica College. <laughs> but I am a a savant when it comes to healing because of all the herbs that I've used and 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 grown myself over the years. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It sound, but yeah. Sound, sound pretty good Speaking, to me. I don't know. Yeah, but, but you know what? Yeah, I was just gonna say we're all dealing with you know limitations and sacrifices. You know, um, but, you know, for me, for instance, it's it's wearing the mask. You know, because uh, I, I just you know it's just it's very difficult for me with my mustache to breathe. You know, I have a condition, no. and no, 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 no. but they, they, there are really it's, sick people there who need you to wear a mask. Yeah, but it's I mean, very difficult so with my. Big. Yeah, thank you. It's so thick, it's like thank I think you. it already just like I think that's like yeah, a little bit longer, a little now. bit longer over the Marcus, mouth. don't encourage him. Don't encourage him, Marcus. But I, are, I mean, that I mean, that I'm, is a I'm, his his mustache is a petri dish of diseases. Probably coronavirus <laughs> got started from. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, this guy's that, a you gonna let, you gonna let him talk to you like that? You gonna let him talk to you like that? Come no, on, I'm you, not. Gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get this guy out. Of here. Yeah, that's why I took him out. No, he'll be back soon. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, I'm I'm wearing my mask right now. You see, right here. I don't know if I'm if I'm wearing it correctly or not. Is that? Uh, I, I I don't know. If, I don't know. I, you might, not. Be, might be a, it might be a few violations. <laughs> okay, okay. Here, let me let me take it off and show you on that. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. Can you see a little better now? My mask. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's, it looks good now. It looks good. It looks okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So, what tell us about your regimen? What do you eat? Do you are you the lean, mean, uh, protein diet type thing? Um. Well, I'm not gonna speculate on you know what diet is better than others because uh, everyone's everyone's body is different. Uh, some people think that going vegan is good, you know, is better for their body. Uh, some people like keto. Some people like paleo. I think uh, for me, it's really just um just eating a balanced lean diet. I would say it's, you know, I try to eat probably as much plant-based as I can. I love the fruits and vegetables, um, lean meat choices, you know, chicken, poultry, fish, uh, you know, get some healthy carbohydrates in there. Uh, but I don't have anything super special that I do. I you know, make sure I have some healthy fats in my diet, take take good supplements, multivitamin, B, B vitamin complex, fish oils, um, you know, all those kind of things. And, um, you know, I think it's just really just making sure you eat lean and just not eating too many, too many high sugar foods and uh, too too many high fat foods, um, and don't eat too many calories if you're trying to stay on a specific you know specific diet. You know.
Yeah, I mean, my diet is mostly, like I said, calzones and kettle corn, and, and that fits basically all the descriptions you gave for, you know, the kind of, yeah. not too much no, fat, that's, that's what not I too much do, meat, actually. yeah, yeah, it works for me. But, you know, uh, we have some questions from Reddit, some other questions. Hoopla Estank wants to know how you acquired your meme powers, you know, where you acquired your skill, and I know you, you have the, the two degrees, and you have the leadership and you have the sports science. So maybe those play into it. I mean, how did you get so good at presentation? You know, because I mean, do you make your own videos? Do you produce those? What do you do? Wait, what was the question again? About your memeing ability. Your ability to oh, meme. Oh, yeah. I thought it said mean. I was like, I don't I don't think I'm that mean, but okay, but no, 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 uh, like like you know, like like Charlie Chaplin, the the the, the, the silent movies, the 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 memes, or those yeah, mine. No, those I, are mine. I, so I, sorry, I, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I get it. I get the question now. Yeah, I mean, I just think that, you know, just being self-aware of what 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 I think is funny and then just like, you know, I just stay on social media and have group messages that people send you stuff and you just kind of just, you know, involuntarily and naturally just keep up with the trends and then you see all the replies to different funny tweets and you just kind of get the vibe of like what like what people will think is funny and what I think is funny. And so then I just kind of like think about ideas that I can tailor some of that stuff to some of the things I do. And for the most part, you know, I'm not, none of this stuff is super profound or anything, but I just think it's, some of the stuff is pretty funny, pretty, uh, you know, just not taking myself too seriously, things like that, but just me to crack jokes and be ironic and satirical with a lot of stuff and just things like that, but yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, we have a very young team and we have a lot of rookies that are expected, you know, do you guys kind of share your, you know, your, your, your humor or do you share jokes? I mean, what is the communication like with all these limitations? Yeah, well, during our virtual off-season period, we we had a uh, a team video competition that lasted four weeks, which was it was pretty fun. So there was like the you know it was the Bengals' way of of you know making up for that that uh, loss of connection we would get from being in person. And so we they had like some of the like not eight or nine captains draft teams, and it was a there was a series of competitions that each member of the team had to complete and make one video and we would submit it and then we would watch it as a team on Thursday and uh the coaches would judge who who won and go on the way and it was um you got points based on what place you got so that was uh that, that was pretty funny that was so I think that was a good way for all of us to kind of share our humor and like, get to know each other a little bit you know even though we're, we, we were we weren't able to be in person so yeah, and I know you're on defense, Marcus, but you got to feel the energy that the Joe Burrow brings. You feel that? I mean, do you feel because he's yeah. a he's a he's a charismatic individual, right? I mean, he's a natural born yeah. leader. You can feel that already. You can taste it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, just yeah. from the videos I saw from LSU put now, and yeah, uh, the, sw the swagger that he has, the confidence, and he's he's uh, very soft spoken, very like to himself. But you can tell that he's about his business and. You know he has a high yeah. football IQ and he, he knows what's going on at all times. So I'm excited yeah. to to meet him and then to compete against him in practice too. So he can yeah. he make me a lot better. Yeah, and he's feeding so many people now. You know, they said that when he was a kid, he 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 gave his lunch to kids that didn't have uh, lunches. Did you see that recently? I mean, such a, a great person too. You know, and no, I didn't see that, but that oh. is, that's not surprising at all. Yeah, I mean, I did the same thing. I don't. I don't want to show off. When I was a kid, I did it too. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, well, I mean, I would sell my lunches, five dollars, but um, they were worth it. They were much better than what the cafeteria offered, you know. Yeah, and they were big deli sandwiches, not really, really thick up to here, you know. The the roast beef was not the calzones, sandwich. no calzones. You know, the funny thing is, when I was a kid, I couldn't get my uh, nanny to make the calzones. She didn't have that ability, but she knew how to make uh, the deli sandwiches. Yeah. Okay. And we actually have Hoji back now. Yeah, I was yeah. just telling you about yeah about selling uh, the sandwiches when well, I was a kid. Yeah. Well, Marcus, I, I want to explain my absence, uh, which is that uh, it's censorship, Marcus. Uh, Dadio takes me out of the stream when he thinks I'm going to ask an esteemed guest like you questions he doesn't want to ask. But you know what? Wow. Here I am, and I'm going to ask those questions. Number okay, one. You got to prevail. You got to prevail. I am prevailing. Number one. You mentioned the vegan diet. What would be your favorite 
what kinds of vegan foods should we replace uh, the, the the hot dogs and things like that at the at, I didn't at say the I didn't say I was vegan. I said that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that I, I say a lot like plant plant based doesn't mean you're vegan. That just means I like a lot of fruits and vegetables. You know what I mean? Fruitarian. So, but what if you had to replace the hot dogs and hamburgers and all that nonsense that's at the Coliseum with vegan foods? What would be your favorite vegan food to replace them with? I don't know because I don't I don't substitute it. I uh, I know they have some good um, vegan hot dogs, but yeah. I think I've had one before. No, Marcus, it's please. Not bad. Number yeah. two. Number you two. You don't have to answer these, Marcus. Yeah, that, that's why two. I took them out. I'm number two. He's, he's gonna, he's gonna, gonna Marcus, one second. Vegan. One second. He's gonna he's gonna take me out, Marcus. But don't don't okay, you yeah. don't you worry. I'll be back. Hey. No, listen, Marcus. Go I don't ahead, blame him this time. I don't blame him this time. Yeah. Question go ahead. number two. As you know, yeah, the, the quote unquote pigskin, the quote unquote football that you touch every day is not made out of a pigskin, but made out of raw hide leather. They take yes, it from the skin true. of a cow. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you believe that? Question. What you should get, we you better get Peter on here? What should we replace the pig skin with? The the cowhide with? What's the right answer? What should we use instead of leather? And you touch you you're gonna touch the ball sometimes. There might be some fumbles, you might hit somebody hard. You you might even get an interception. What would you like to be touching? You don't be touching dead skin cow, cow dead skin. Hmm. Shoot, I don't know if they can make it, you know, you put a plastic on there. You there know, you go. Yeah, there we go. Nerf, nerf. I don't want. Why don't yeah, they do nerf, nerf? Nerf, we could do nerf. Yeah. Nerf on you. You see nerf. the nerf house videos, nerf house, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, basically, if this guy has his way, we're going to end up with these, these hippie festivals instead of football games. <laughs> no. It's going to be yeah, a mess. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I've had a few ideas. You probably heard... On, our, on one of our shows, I had the idea that for the as a true celebration of the Panteras Tigers, Tigers, the Bengal Tiger, we would, which by the way, <clears throat> I don't know if you know this, Marcus, but the Bengals have never gotten permission from Bengal Tigers to use that emblem. And I am arguing, I have a friend, Sanjay, that speaks to the Tigers, and they're willing to come to the table. All that, that the Bengal Tiger is asking is for the Bengal, Cincinnati Bengals to donate part of the proceeds to Sanjay, who has a Bengal Tiger reserve, in India, and everything's going to be legit and kosher that way. But anyways, I have this idea that the Bengals, the players, could actually ramp up the cat-like resemblance by using makeup. So you have whiskers beneath the helmets, and you have... Have you ever seen Cats, the musical Cats or the movie Cats? No, I have not. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we could, you can definitely do that. Or we can just like call up Joe Exotic, Carol Baskin. We can see what's going on with that. Exactly. See if can help us out. Yeah. yeah. So that might yeah. be. So anyways, these are some of my ideas for the team. I've, I have more, uh, but I know that if I keep going, Marcus, he's going to take me off the stream like he did. Yeah, yeah. Marcus, I'm really sorry. I'm really uh, sorry. You know, uh, you talked about being grateful, but never content, right? I mean, that is your motto. Am I correct? Well, I wouldn't say it's like my yeah, don't put words in his mouth. But, oh, yeah. I thought okay. <laughs> but he just said it once. Don't that, make a big deal about it. Yeah, yeah. it's not like Please. I'm I'm waking up every day. It's not like it's tattooed like, on his chest. Big poster. Yeah. yeah. You don't you don't have it. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. yes, that's a that's a mindset I think is um something that I you know I live by or kind of like embody. It's just you can because like there's a lot of times people people will try to tell you to um be grateful for what you have, but then I think there's like a fine line between, you know, being grateful and then being complacent because, right. uh, you know what I mean? Like there's, it's kind of like a, it's like, if you want more, sometimes people will think you're being selfish or you're not grateful for what you have. And that's, that's not the case for me. It's like, I'm very aware that the situation I'm in is better than yeah. a lot of other people. And I'm very grateful for that, but right. I still have bigger aspirations, you know, and that's, yeah. that's just kind of what it, no, I mean, yeah. well, first of all, I mean, that is my motto in general. It's like, you know, something can be great already, but you might want to make it great again. No, you know no, what I mean? no, like, no, no, like no. You, can... you see no. how he pulled you into that, Marcus? No, no, no. No, I'm saying <laughs> we, we, we're you know, not like making show... anything great again. We're oh, not making... Oh, hey, you see no, that? No, 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 you see no, that? No, no, no. It's already yeah. great. It's already he's gonna, great. He's going to get somehow... you canceled, man. He's going to get you canceled. No. No one is getting great again. No. 
I'm just no, we're that. already <laughs> great. See, that's the that's the little conundrum. It is great already. It's the greatest. But yeah. we're going to make it great again and no. again and again. And you're no. going to be so sick of winning. This poor guy game. is a rookie. You're going to get him in trouble. You, you just let him be. Let him okay. enjoy his. Right. But no, but no, but Marcus. I mean, we don't answer. Show. Marcus, I'm your lawyer. Do not no. answer. I'll answer Marcus, for you. On this I'll show, we, <laughs> we, we, Marcus, on the show are very grateful for the support we have, but we're yeah. not content. And that's no. why now there we have go. nine. Yeah, we, we have nine patrons, people yeah, who are being patronizing, yeah, pa patrons who are being patronizing towards us. Uh, and they are just, you know, throwing money at our feet left and right. And it's so great. And so people can, you know, they can go to patreon.com uh, slash DH sports to support the show. Yeah. You know, and we we accept contributions. We are not like some, um, you know, others who say well, I only accept certain amounts from certain people, you know, we accept from corporations, from players, NFL players, yeah. anybody, you know, Bengals players, sale. rookie yeah. Bengals players, rookie linebackers, anybody we accept. No. Uh, not cool. Yeah. yeah. Not and, cool. Uh, you know, <laughs> and you can also not cool. go to, yeah, but, uh, and you can also become a member of the channel and you get the one cent discount per tier. You know, we have like the different oh, tiers. The one, one cent, one cent yeah. discount. Yeah, that, okay. that wasn't by choice. I was forced to do that because the Google only has like 99 cents, 4.99. They don't let you do you know, round numbers. But as it turns out, you get the one cent discount. So that is how we're not content, Marcus. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. We, I got you, I got we you. Want, we want, Marcus, we want people to subscribe to the, to the channel. We want people to, also when you subscribe, we want you to do stuff so that you get notified. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make the notifications and don't forget to smooch that like button. No, no, smash. Marcus. Oh, you're like, you guys are YouTube guys. Oh, subscribe, like, uh, you know, yeah. hey guys. I know. Marcus, sad, what are you doing? Sad. What are you doing? You can't, you, can't, you can't be condescending. This guy is so capitalist. This is we need to get our support, Marcus. This is how we, this is how we feed <laughs> ourselves. Right, yeah. I've made all so days, many. Look at, I should put you in a tea. Look at this mask I have to wear all the time. Look at that. That's not the mask. <laughs> That's just something you don't get fined. They should kick you out of every store you go to. It's shame on you. But it's a we, pandemic. It's struggling with this whole situation where the economy is just so uncertain no, because of some. It's not about the economy. Yeah. It's not about the economy. Yeah. Anyways, Marcus, we have taken too much of your time already. Marcus, can I say? It's been a great time. We're so happy that you're on the Cincinnati Bengals. Honestly, there's yeah. so much to be excited about. I was telling Daddy this the other day. Obviously, everybody's excited about Joe Burrow and the Joe Burrow signing. Is it has us all excited. And so what happens is sometimes we forget about how exciting the year as a whole has been. And you're a big part of that, Marcus. I'm really excited that you're, you're going to be on the defense. We're bringing the talents that we've all seen. We've all seen you in yeah. the game. We've no, I mean, Marcus, yeah, I, I'll be honest with you. I watch your highlight plays and I'm like, okay, at first I'm like, he's a coverage guy. Great. And then I'm like, wait a second. No, he's a everything. great run tackler. And I'm like, yeah. great. And then no. I'm like, wait a second. Look at him More. get through the backfield. Look at yeah. him get up. I'm like, wait a second. This guy does it all. Like how? Now, you know, Marcus, you know I have one more. One, no, Marcus, have, yeah. You, yeah. you know who you remind me of, Marcus? Who's that? Who's that? Careful. And uh, the only, I mean, in terms of Bengals' recent history, Ra -oh. only in terms of play style, only in terms of your effectiveness on the field, uh, is Vantes, Ber Vantes Perfect. Oh, okay, yeah. Vantes yeah, that guy, Vantes was explosive. Vontaze Vontaze, perfect. Yeah. 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 I mean, this guy, he, did it, he wasn't the biggest guy. He wasn't the fastest guy. He wasn't anything. He changed the game. He did everything. Yeah. He did everything. He was Every a powerhouse. He was like yeah. he was a motor. He was a motor. He was a yeah. he was a general motor. He, he had played, a, he played <laughs> he played he played with his head on fire, Marcus. That man brought and, energy. Yeah. I mean yeah. I mean he also brought other things. And that's yeah. where the, the connection Yeah, came, the yeah. I know I love Vantes, you know, but I, I think he his his kind of his passion uh for the game, uh he didn't know how to control it at times. It made him a great player, but it also yeah. got him in trouble. Uh, because he's a but, great guy. Off the field, but you know? Marcus, I have a, a final request, parting request from you. I love your videos. They're funny. They're cute. I want to make one. <laughs> I want <laughs> us to make a TikTok. Hey, we might, we might have to. TikTok. I think TikTok. we have to. Yeah. I, I want to make one. I want to have fun with you. I want us to be friends. I want you to come to the Hoji Lands Estates. Check it out. I'll convert you to a vegan. I will. I yeah, will. you know. <laughs> You're gonna have me eating grass the whole time. I'm gonna have I you know. eating grass. I think you think you're kidding, but we eat grass at Toji Land Estate. As long as you're just eating it, because yeah. I don't want we to also eat. We also eat. We also eat a uh, an edible clay that will. Marcus, I'm yeah. telling you, okay. just trust me on this. 
So let's be honest, he's ruined many players' careers with yeah. his, no. yeah, because because he can do things that others cannot. In his little bubble, in his yeah. elite, yeah, kind of no. uh, bubble, no. uh, he can do whatever he wants. But uh, Marcus, yeah, thank you so much. And, and I hope you can come back on the show, uh, you know, maybe after the, the season starts. I know I know the, the training camp date is still not clear. It's supposed to be the end of the month, but it's still now it's up in the air again. But uh, we, we hope to have you back maybe during the preseason, during the regular season, after the season, whenever it's easy for you. We'd love to have you on and, and, and you know, talk actual football, football games, you know. Yeah. 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 We'll have some, yeah, some real games to look at. That Let's hope they have. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thank you, Marcus. Okay. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me on. It was awesome. very entertaining. You're cool, uh, man. I'll, I'll let you guys let you guys hash it out afterwards. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I am going to hash it out. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, thank you so much. And we will see you next time. So long, Sweetie. Bye. Bye. Bye.